Welcome to the world of probability. Probability is the measure of chance. You've probably heard phrases like something is most likely to happen, least likely, equally likely, impossible, or certain. Those are all words you can use to describe probability of something happening. When you're calculating probability, something is equally likely to happen if there's the same chance of happening. Take our spinner for example. There are two reds and there are two blues. So it's equally likely that you land on red as it is that you land on blue. More likely means that you have a better chance. So for example, there are more yellows than there are blues. So you are more likely to land on yellow than you are on blue. And less likely means exactly the opposite. So you're less likely to land on blue than you are on yellow. Let's look at this example. Vito spins a spinner. What is the likelihood that the spinner lands on orange? Is it impossible? No way. Our spinner just did it. Likely, but not certain. Well, it's probably not likely since there's only one out of the eight spots that are orange. Unlikely, but not impossible. So it is pretty unlikely, and it's definitely not impossible. So that's a good answer. And we know it's not impossible. Probability can be measured on a number line. The probability that something is impossible possible is zero. The probability that something is certain is one and in the middle if it's equally likely it's a probability of one half. Let's look at some of those. A dragon will walk into your school. What do you think the probability of that happening is? Lucky for you, zero. It'll never happen. It's impossible. Let's try another. Pizza will be served for lunch today. What's the possibility of that? That's possible. Might happen, might not. So that'd be around one half. The sky will darken tonight. That's certain. Of course it will darken. You will have homework tonight. Unfortunately, that's pretty likely. So that would be somewhere between a half and one, so we put it right in the middle, three-fourths. And lastly, you will win a hundred dollars tomorrow. That'd be awesome, but that's unlikely. So let's look at one of the probabilities on the number line. We have Matt puts these candies in a bag. Place a point on the number line to represent the probability he randomly picks out a green candy. Well, he has two green candies out of eight total candies. On our number line, from zero, there are eight spaces, so that means one would be eight out of eight. So then here we have one-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths, four-eighths, which is one-half, five-eighths, six-eighths, and seven-eighths. So our probability was two-eighths, which is right here. There's our point, and that is all you need to know about probability. At least for now.